Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Wow, that sounded like such a commercial. I sound like a, a radio show host, didn't I? Just right there. Let's try this again. Hey guys, it's Lena. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I wanted to share a design team project that I created for Coco Vanilla Studio using the amazing Bohemian Dream. <laughs> I'm so in love with this. I say this every single time I create something with this collection. But guys, seriously, if you haven't seen it firsthand, get your hands on at least some of it. So I started with a paper issues cut file and I cut those, um, I cut a partial cut file out. Does that make sense? So I knew that I, I, this cut file here, I'll link it in the description down below, but it is like a full page heart. Um, and I just wanted it to be peeking through the left side. So I only cut some of it out and I backed it with some of the papers from, not some of the papers, one of the papers from the line. Um, and I've actually also just cut it out from that purple ombre. And I love, love, love the way it turned out. And here you can see that I'm going through my paper stash from the collection and I'm gonna pick out what I feel works best. I was really tempted to go with that blue um, that you just saw me um, pair it up against. But ultimately, in the end, I went with this one here, and I'm happy that I did, even though I was really tempted to go with the blue. It would have been a really stark uh, contrast, and you guys know the way I feel about color. So, and I was very tempted, but I went more, um, I don't want to say monochromatic, because this is definitely not monochromatic, but I went with the same kind of, you know, pinks and purple tones which is okay. <laughs> uh, so this photograph that I'm using right here is um, of my two littles and this was taken in the summertime and we had gone to a gorge um, so it's like a provincial park here in Ontario and there's a gorge on the property obviously <laughs> and um, we were in like the forest part near the gorge and both girls found it a tree stump and we're kind of like uh, running towards it kind of fighting for it like I'll get there first no hey I'll get there first and so they both sat down on it and they both had this great big grin on my face and because my phone is never far away I just snapped this picture and they're both smiling and one of my kids is always eating if you notice my photos uh, photos that I post or that I you know taken that I decide to scrapbook one of my kids always has food in their hand I always have one that's eating they never well they rarely eat at the same time um, one is always eating and you know shortly after the other one will eat I don't know just weird the way that's the way it's just happening lately anyways I digress as always <laughs> so here I'm going through the paper collection I'm just choosing um, some papers to map my photo with and of course um, as usual when I use a lot of different colored papers I make sure that my photo is printed in black and white because I just don't um, like so much contrast like I want my photo to speak and if there's a lot of color in let's say the photos I mean, I'm sorry in the papers I opt to, to print my photos in black and white and I just like um, the overall aesthetic of it I like um, just kind of the vibe it gives you know <laughs> and I love black and white pictures anyways I always have ever since I was a kid I'm like fascinated by them I'm not so into filters um, but I do love my black and white photos <laughs> so here I am taking I'm starting with my embellishing obviously and here this is where I go a little buck wild as you guys know I embellish heavily and I'm okay with that I've accepted that that is part of my my style that is my I, I don't want to call it a technique because over embellishing is not a technique but it's me like if you see my layouts I am a I like I'm not simple I'm not simple and streamlined I am kind of I'm an over embellisher and I've accepted that I'm Lena and I'm an over embellishment I feel like I'm in um, some like over embellishment anonymous <laughs> club you know so I originally you saw me cut up that uh, chipboard frame and I just used part of it I didn't need the whole thing under there so maybe I'll use that corner for something one day maybe not who knows but I'm also using um, the chipboard titles here and I decided to go with life is good because life is so good I'm so I'm blessed beyond measure um, 
I don't need to say it, <laughs> but I just feel that, you know, when you're grateful for things, good things continue to happen. Um, and so I went with life is good. It has nothing to do with um, the layout. I guess it does. My, my kids are part of my life being good. <laughs> But um, that's what I went with. And I decided to leave them white because I love I love the look of them. Like you can alter them as you've seen in my previous video and my previous layout um, using this collection. But you don't need to. And that's the beauty of this collection is that the white looks so good. Especially when I know that I'm going to have a lot of things going on. I like to leave things, you know, pretty simple. And this worked so well. I was going to add the remember and then like a comma, remember life is good, but I decided not to go with that. Um, I decided to just go with the um, life is good. And let's see, now I'm going to go with my embellishing. So I think I'm going to bust out the ephemera right now. Soon, I will, I promise. Okay, so here are some... Um, more cut files. This is some more die cuts that I cut with my Silhouette Cameo. And this is from the Color Me Happy um, cut file on the Coco Vanilla Studio uh, website. So you can buy this cut file in the store. And so I just wanted to break up a bit of that heaviness. And so these um, leaves are cut out of just plain white uh, cardstock stock the cardstock I think this is the Michael the recollections brand um, I'm pretty sure it is because I like how lightweight it is and doesn't add too much bulk to my already heavy pages <laughs> so I'm just slipping them in and I decided that I was going to use them after I had already glued um, you know my title down which it's nothing new but you know it's fine I just peeled it up a bit and then stuck it down and you know it was fine so this is now me going through the ephemera package and there are so many beautiful florals in this collection. Zoe does an incredible job when she comes up with her collections. Like it, it, even in previous, you know, collections, the florals are just my favorite, you know. They they are like the winner for me in all of the collections. So I know that I'm going to add a couple of clusters. Um, and I'm going to go with some floral pieces. So here is the uh, a chipboard one. And I just um, put part of it on some foam dim dimensional sheets. And this is because part of it would, was up on my photo. Because my photo is backed with the foam sheet. Um, it wasn't balanced. So it just popped it up a bit. And I'm going through the tags and all the elements that are in the ephemera pack and just adding some of my pieces here and there. You know how I got, you guys know how I like my layouts for my regulars who watch. Um, I kind of just start piling stuff on, <laughs> moving stuff around. And that bird, oh, that bird, I love that bird. And the good thing about that bird is that I can have a million of them because there's a stamp set now that's included in this collection of that exact bird. So how awesome is that? So I can stamp them out onto some white cardstock, color them up with my Copics if I need to, and I'll have him. And I'm also going to create some cards soon. I need to get back into it and get it done. So here you see that I'm thinking of adding um, a strip. So I just have um, what's left of me cutting out the cut file. Um, I just need a skinny little strip and it worked out perfectly. I didn't have to throw that whole, you know, loving piece in the garbage because I hate throwing um, pieces in the garbage, you know, but what was I going to use it for? But in this case, it ended up working out quite well. And I'm just going to create um, a bit of an anchor on that side because my layout is uh, left side heavy. So most of my, all of my items are on the left side. I just wanted some balance um, on the right. So I have that strip going down vertically. And I'm just going to add some, you know, some florals. I'm going to, I think I end up adding an arrow. Let's see what I do. <laughs> I love those floral leaves, those navy floral. Oh, those leaves get me. I need like a pack with just those. Cause do you find that you can just tuck them anywhere? That's what I that's what I find. I think I've already gone through quite a few of them, considering, well, including the last layout that I did. So 
to me, no layout is complete until I add some of the tiny words. And Zoe does such an incredible job with these tiny words. They always convey the message that I want to um, get across. And because I don't journal on my layouts, I'm not a journal layout, layout journaler. Um, I feel they just say what I need them to say. Just they're sweet and simple to the point, And I love that about them. And I can just stick them anywhere, like seriously. My whole layout could be just tiny words. <laughs> so what am I doing here? I think I'm going through the sticker sheet. I'm going to add uh, some more bits and bobs. Bits and bobs? Am I a bits and bobs same person? I guess I am now. That came out naturally. So there we go. Uh, I'm just going to add some things here and there. And I think for the most part, this layout is done with the exception of me adding um, a flare button. So I'm, I'm taking here some metallic silver thread. I contemplated going with the gold, but ultimately I went with the silver. Um, and I'm just gonna create a little nest and add a flare button on top of it so that it sits pretty. I had trouble. Metallic thread is hard. It's got like a mind of its own. And yeah, so I had to play with it just a little bit. And I'm going to pick um, a flare, that bird. And I love that he was facing the opposite way. He wasn't looking the same way as the original bird. And he fits so perfectly there. I love him. Or her. Maybe she's a her. I don't know. I'm going to add some enamel shapes in that kind of creamy, tan, light, extremely light, corally color. And lastly, you're going to see me here that I'm going to add some splatters. Now... I didn't want to go nuts. I didn't want it to go. I didn't want to go overboard. So I I pick up my white linen dilutions, and that's what I use to add my splatters. It's pretty subtle, uh, but if you you can see them pretty well in my stills and my close-ups, so look out for those. And I'm a neat scrapper. I need to put things away, otherwise my brain doesn't function. Are any of you guys clean and like neat scrappers or is it just me? Like I know a lot of scrappers like they have like crafter math after they create. I'm not one of those. It's extremely rare if I do. But how many of you guys are neat scrappers versus uh, messy scrappers? I'm definitely a neat scrapper. My brain doesn't function well in um, chaos. <laughs> not even organized chaos. So here you go, so you can tell that I'm going in with the white dilutions, and I find that dilutions is difficult to get out of the bottle. I don't know if it's because of the consistency, the thickness of it, the viscosity, I don't know. Technical terms, blah, 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 but I add my splatters. And that's it, I think, for the most part. And that's my layout, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so, so much for watching. I love all you guys. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're already not, and the thumbs up. See you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye.